Hello, good evening, welcome. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hi. Hello. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, great to see you. So today is Wednesday and we have a lot of things to do. Today we are going to finish section one and we're going to start section two because we only have one more day for classes in this week. Okay, Adrian Erasmo. I'm here. Excellent. Ana Beatriz. Andrea Cecilia. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Ah, okay. Brenda Guadalupe. Brenda Isabel. Present. Excellent. Carlos, Ricardo. Carlos, Roberto. Present. Excellent. Cecilia, Beatriz. Darling, Stephanie. Dennis, Giovanni. Edith Vanessa. Present teacher. Excellent. Fatima Margarita. Flavio Emanuel. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Maribel. Carla Azucena. Carla Vanessa. Luis ok. Luis de Nilsson. Marvin Alexander. Present. Excellent. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy Yastel. Present. Excellent. Nancy Soledad. Nora Eloisa. Pamela Noemí. Raquel Abigail. Richard Joel. Robert Adalberto. Present. Okay. Ronnie Alexander. Present. Excellent. Roxana Francisca. And Jamie Marisol. Okay. We only have one more thing about section one, okay, that we are going to practice. First, we are going to start with- Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, Denise. Okay, so we are going to practice the conversation. Okay, Gabriela Serrano. And Fatima Margarita. A 
Okay, let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice. which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation. Okay. Do you have questions? No? So let's practice. Okay, we're going to start with Carlos and Edith. Yes. Carlos, you are going to start. Carlos Quintanilla. You are going to be Jack and Edith, you're going to be Amy. Eh, empiezo yo o empieza Carlos? Jack, yeah. Carlos, sería. Yeah. Comienzo yo, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go into the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, excellent. Okay, the next... To practice the conversation will be Adrian and Andrea. Quien inicia teacher? You. Okay. Uh, and let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I I live like on weekends. What time do you get get up on um, Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. On um, Sunday, I get up um at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Mm, sir. And I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay, they serve. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, so we are going to practice the simple present questions. Yesterday, we saw the structure. Yes, if I don't remember, we, we already see the structure. Yes, the two types of questions. Dijimos que teníamos dos tipos, the yes no question y the double H questions. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And dijimos que, bueno, ya habíamos visto que teníamos que modificar el verbo 
cuando estábamos utilizando el simple present y la tercera persona del singular. Pero decíamos que a la hora de usar las preguntas tenemos que agregar el auxiliar do o does. Does para el caso de he, she, and it. Y do para el resto de los sujetos o pronombres. Y que al agregar nosotros el auxiliary, we don't have to change the verb. En este caso ya no sería necesario que cambiemos nuestro verbo. Porque ya lo estamos demostrando con el auxiliar. Ok. So that's only a review because it supposedly we already uh, um, learned this. So questions so far. And then we have the double H words. Okay. En las cuales we are going to ask for information. Okay. The answers could be whatever. Okay, we don't know why, what they are going to answer. But in a yes, no question, they only have two possible answers, or yes or no. Okay, that's the difference. And here we have some time expressions that we can use or they are going to indicate the simple present tense. Okay, for example, in, um, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. Okay, because if you remember, we are going to use simple present when we are going to talk about habits, routines, Okay, things that we do regular, regularly. Okay, entonces, por, esto, por eso estas se toman como unas time expressions. Okay, y además también eh, son como las parts of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at noon, at midnight. Okay, también son como parts of the day, the different parts of the day. Okay, so far is clear. Está claro hasta el momento, Aso? Yes? Yes. Okay. Y si no mal recuerdo, estuvimos haciendo también ejercicios about questions, right? So we have here the two types, the two types of questions. So we have, do you get up early on week on weekdays? Okay, do you get up early on weekdays? This is aquí the possible answer, yes or no. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. El auxiliar con el que se nos pregunte va a ser el mismo con el que vamos a hacer nuestra short answer. La respuesta, en la respuesta corta vamos a utilizar el mismo auxiliar. Así como el mismo pronombre, salvo en el caso de la primera persona, que ahí sí cambia en la pregunta y en la respuesta. Because es do you en la pregunta, pero en la respuesta es yes, I am. O no, do, eh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Entonces, ese es el único en el que cambia. Pero con los demás, por ejemplo, if I say, what time does your mother go home? Y entonces, en la respuesta, ah, bueno, pero eso no, eh, yo voy a utilizar Ah, pero esa es una, una abierta. Pero igual, este, veamos. Does your mother work? Okay. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Y siempre utilizando el mismo pronombre. Y 
que sería, eh, en este caso, sustituyendo a mother y utilizando el mismo auxiliar, que sería does. Y veamos si hicimos estos ejercicios son de platform. Creo que son. What time do you guys? No, these are different. But let me check. And this is the reading. Okay. So let's do the exercises that we have on the manual. Okay. Number two. Miguel, can you read? the question with the answer. Number two. Sería, what time? Eh, night. Uh, Vamos a utilizar do or does. Ah, ok. Eh, sería do. What Ajá. time? What time? Do you home? Do you go home? Okay, yes. Number three, Robert. Uh, sería dos. Mm -hmm. Read the, the whole question. Toda, Does your mother work? Does your mother work? Okay, Does remember intonation. Work? Does your mother work? Okay, number four, Brenda. How does your father get to work? Yes, correct. Number five, Dennis. Does your parents read in the evening? Okay, does lo vamos a utilizar solamente con los pronombres. He, she, and it. O sea, singular, forma singular, tercera persona del singular. Pero parents, habíamos visto que se refiere a mom and dad. Entonces, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que deberíamos de usar? Si ¿Sí, estamos hablando de plural. No. Yes. Ok, again. Say the, the question again with the correct answer. Se la leo yo, teacher, porque no era yo quien le tocaba. Ah, okay. Do your parents read in the evening? Okay, yes. Do your parents read in the evening? Okay, practice the pronunciation. Creo que ya vimos lo de las intonation. Bueno, no lo vieron conmigo, pero lo vieron en el módulo pasado. Cuando las preguntas son abiertas y cerradas, que tienen una entonación diferente. Una pan hacia arriba y otra pan hacia abajo. Okay, so remember to practice. Y number six, Ronnie. When do you parent shop? When... Do your parents shop, okay? Number seven, Carla Vanessa. Gabriela Maribel. Carla Susana. Um, Seria. Doesn't um, mm, you can yeah. you can make a new question mm. instead of us. Ah, the doesn't your <laughs> doesn't your 
um, your father's? No, no, no. Doesn't your your parents uh, watching TV? Okay, does no. con con qué vamos a utilizar does con qué pronombres? Does is she uh, uh, uh -huh. she it. <laughs> okay, and doesn't does 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 your father okay does your father watching watch 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 okay. watch TV watch TV y vamos a poner un complemento a complement in the morning in the morning okay Okay, yes, that's better. Oy. Okay, vamos a ver. A volunteer to tell me another question. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Vamos a utilizar what time. Okay. What time do you get up on Monday? What time do you get up on Mondays? Because it's a routine. O sea, todos los lunes on Mondays. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Number nine. Another volunteer? Yes. Solo uno, only one. Brenda? Yeah, teacher. Mm, a question utilizando do. Okay. Do you late get up on weekends? Do? Do you? Do you? Do you get up? Yes. On weekend, do you get up uh, late? Oh, late. Uh -huh. Puede weekend? ser late or early. Uh -huh. Do you get up late on weekends? Okay. And the last one. Okay. Adrian? Yes. A question using when. Are you the left, Flavio? Uh, when do they drive to work? When do they drive to work to work okay muy bien do you have questions about this how to how to make questions in simple present using the auxiliaries está claro cuando vamos a utilizar do cuando vamos a utilizar does los complementos que podemos utilizar para indicar que estamos en tiempo presente simple. Si no, make questions. If you have doubts, si tiene dudas, pregunte. That's the time. All clear, teacher. All clear, excellent. Okay. 
So that's the, the last part of this section. And then as a full exercise okay, so Then we can continue with section two. We're going to skip the reading. Um or I don't know. Is este no lo hicimos este ejercicio. Estaba en la plataforma. Ya lo completaron ustedes este ejercicio en la plataforma. About the reading. No, yo en ese tengo dudas. Ah, ok. Muy bien, dice read the article, the number of activities in each person's schedule. Select the number from uh, one to five. Wait a minute. Okay. Muy bien, dice Brittany Davis. Tenemos ahí the first reading and then you have to order the activities. Now we have Joshua Barnes. Okay, Nancy, could you please read about Joshua? Nancy Guadalupe. Um, Cecia. Miguel Antonio. Sí, empezaría con la parte de Mike. Yes. Eh, what's your, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia ese. Schedule. Es your schedule. Like. Schedule. Ok. Eh, like. Okay, what eh, your schedule. What's your schedule your like? Show. Yes, continue with. Joshua, well, I have up I get, the, get up at six, 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 uh, six, six, pardon, six, six, uh, thirty, los números todavía no, thirty, se los debo, okay. um, and go for a, a room, uh, before my uh, bread part. Okay. Okay, continue. Uh, no, continue. Dennis. Dennis, hey, be ready, people. Don't get a slip. Drink coffee. Ronnie. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at a a. En punto, ¿cómo sería? O'clock. A o'clock. Around one one o'clock. I take a, a lunch break. A lunch break. Okay. Continue, Carla Vanessa. How late do you work? How late do you work? Sometimes I work at night to finish a project. To finish a project. Okay. To finish, to finish a, project. a project. Okay. Now, what is the first activity that he, that Joshua does? ¿Cuál sería la primera? 
has breakfast, starts work, eat dinner, get up, go for a run. Get up. Get, okay, number one, he gets up. Okay, number two. Does for a round. work. Go. Estamos aquí. Go. Dice get up and and go for a run. Entonces uh, eso sería la number breakfast. two. Number two. Uh, he goes for a run. Number two. Okay. Number three. He has a breakfast. Before breakfast. Okay. Quiero ver. Then breakfast, ¿verdad? Number three. Y number four. He starts work. Okay. And the last one, it's dinner. Okay. Vamos con Maya. Maya Black. Okay. I'm going to read the question and when I say your name, you're going to read the answer. Okay, para ir avanzando, aprovechando. Okay. Richard, what's your schedule like? Richard? Yes. What's your schedule like? La respuesta, Richard. Estamos aquí. Yes, coach. I was schedule like our night. Mm -hmm. Read. You have to read. Okay. 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 I work at nine, and I go to work at ten p.m. You done. And and I play until three a.m. Three a.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Edith, what do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. Okay, thank you. Adrian, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five o'clock in the morning. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, vamos entonces con the first activity about Maya. Activity number one. Carlos? She goes to work. Yes. Okay, she goes to work. Number two. If he finishes work. Okay. Number three. She has, she dinner, has dinner. dinner. She has dinner, correct. She has dinner. Number four. She goes home. She goes home. She takes taxi. And the last one, she goes to bed. You know, let's check. OK. 
Okay. It's clear. Okay, that's the last exercise yes. for section one. And we are going to move to section two. Okay. Okay, section two, does it have a view? That's the name of the section. And we're going to talk about um, places to live. Uh, we can live in a house or we can have an apartment. Let's... Okay, we have the rooms, the rooms of a house, okay, or uh, in an apartment. Okay, we have um for example, this house has two floors, okay, two floors. On the first floor, there is a dining room, okay, the place in which you eat, a kitchen to prepare the food, okay, a living room to watch TV, uh, read a book, okay, the laundry, the laundry room, okay, you wash the clothes in the laundry room. Then you can go upstairs to the second floor in which you have three bedrooms, okay, three bedrooms, a closet, a hall, and this, well, this, the stairs, and a bathroom, and a bathroom. Okay, on, do we have a bathroom on the first floor? Does we have a bathroom on the first floor? Yes or no? No. No? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Does we have a garage in the second floor? Does we have a garage in the second floor? What do you think? No. No, no it okay, no, it doesn't, okay. And, okay, the last one. Uh, does we have two bedrooms in the second floor? Yes. 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 With us. Two. No. Three. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry. We have three bedrooms. Okay. I think we have the conversation. Okay. Let's listen in on the platform. Okay, we have the vocabulary. You can listen the vocabulary. And here is the conversation. Well, I don't know if you have questions about the vocabulary. Questions? No sé si ya lo vieron. 
Yo... Questions about meaning, significados. The yard is, es el patio. Yes, the yard is el patio. Ya, we have the yard in the front, but we also eh, can have a backyard, a backyard in la parte de atrás. The garage. Um, the stairs. Stairs son para subir. The stairs. You no, can go up or down. Yes. Okay. Real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to. Okay. Questions about pronunciation, vocabulary words. La primera palabra que dice Linda. Guess. Adivina qué. Guess what. Okay, another. Sería, se pronunciaría gets. Guess. Guess. Okay. Okay, what else? What about view? View. What it is? What is the meaning? A great. No es como vista. Ah. Yes. Yes, okay. a great view, a great view of another apartment building. A building building edificio. edificio. Yes, edificio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's practice. Okay, two volunteers. To practice the conversation? Mm, I. Okay. Who else? Yes. Okay. Go. Mm, yes, but, uh, mm. uh, I am Linda Troya. Yes. Yes, what? I have a new apartment. Apartment. <laughs> apartment. That's great. And uh, what what is like? What it's it's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What it is? Oh, on Labio Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. Yeah. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, two more, two more volunteers. I... Me. Okay. And Brenda. Okay. Empiezo. Yes. Yes, what? I had a new apartment. That's great. What's I what's it like? It's really beautiful. 
is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeville Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a have a view? Yes, I it does. It has a review of another apartment building. Okay, thank you. Well, you can continue listen the conversation and practice. Okay, let's move to the next part. We have a simple present short answers. Okay, it's eh, como lo que, lo, lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿verdad? Utilizando do and does. Y serían en este caso preguntas abiertas o cerradas. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas serían? Cerradas. Ok, cerradas. preguntas cerradas. Cerradas. So, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Okay, entonces, lo mismo que habíamos estado diciendo, que para la tercera persona del singular vamos a utilizar do. Okay, yes. que vamos, va, uh, does, yes, sorry, does, que... Cuando lo utilizamos en la pregunta, no necesitamos modificar el verbo. Y que el mismo pronombre que utilizamos en la pregunta lo vamos a utilizar en la respuesta, así como el auxiliary, ya sea en forma positiva o negativa. Ok. So let's practice. Okay, um, let's see if we have this on the platform. Okay. Here. Complete the conversation. Select the option that completes the two blank fields in each sentence or question. Okay, Linda. Who wants to uh, say the answer? Do you live in an apartment? Does, okay, repeat please. Does live. Do you live? Do you live, okay. Do you live? in an apartment, okay. Next. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I live in a house. Okay, no, I don't. I live in a house, okay, next. El pronombre es it. Does have. Does, does it. Have. Have. Okay. Does it have a yard? Yes, it. Does. Does. Correct. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Yeah. 
Okay. No. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't live. live. I live with my family. Mm. That sounds nice. It's, it's... Do, do you have? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Any brothers or sisters? Okay. Yes. I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have, have four sisters. Really? Mm -hmm. La house? Does, 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 does your house? Does your house have, have many bedrooms? Okay. Yes, it, it does. Does it? Has. 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 Excellent. Four. Do you have? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes. I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Ok, great. Muy bien, aquí también estábamos practicando, aparte de do and does, los verbos, eh, los irregular verbs, ok, que habíamos visto el día de ayer. Ok, great job. Y I think Hacer una we... pregunta. Yes. Con lo de las tareas, eh, es esta parte la que hay que completar. Yes. Mañana creo que van a tomar nota de la plataforma. Así que cuando usted realice los ejercicios, por ejemplo, si no le sale arriba del, del 80% correcto, you can try again, you can do it again, hacer las correcciones para que le, y para que, porque usted puede realizar todos los ejercicios, pero si tiene muchos equivocados, no le va a dar arriba del 80%. Entonces, tiene que corregir, practicar, ver en qué se equivocó y todo. Volver a hacerlos para que la nota le quede arriba del 8. ¿Okay? Y aquí, por lo general, también siempre los vamos a ir desarrollando. Y if you have questions in some exercises, you can tell me and we can, we can uh, do, do the exercise here. Ok. The next part is about furniture, and that will be the last, the last part. Let's see. Okay, this one. Okay. We have six minutes. Okay, we have. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, refrigerator, microwave, oven, table, coffee table, and bookcase. Dresser, chairs, mirror, sofa, rug, and television. We are going to classify what uh, what things belongs to these rooms. Okay, in the kitchen, what can we put? in the kitchen or what things can we have in a kitchen? Okay, tell me 
We have tables, Tom. What else? Refrigerator. Refrigerator, okay. What else? Microwave oven. Excellent. Microwave oven. Chairs. Okay, some some kitchens because we have a table. I sorry. Chairs. Okay. Only that? Or do we have more? No more. No more. Now in the dining room. What can we have in the dining room? Chairs. Okay. Chairs. Table, chairs, what else? Only that. Yes. Yes. Uh, curtains, clock. No, I have a clock in my dining room. Well, ya ni lo usan el dining room, de seguro. You eat on the sofa. Hey, what about the living room? So far. So far. Mm -hmm. Hey, what else? Pictures. Which one? Pictures. 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 Okay, pictures. Coffee Curtains. table. Coffee table. Curtains. Rug. Rug. Excellent. You miss the most important. Curtains. Television. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Television. If you don't have a television, you will have a lot of children. Armor chairs. Arm chairs. Excellent. Okay. Um yeah, oh. bookcase. Bookcase. Bookcase, yes, you you can have ones in the living room. Okay. Okay. Hello? Which one? The lamps. Lamps, yes. Clock. Clock. Great. Now the last one, bedroom. What can we have on the bedroom? Dresser. Dresser. Bed. Bed. Mm. Dresser. Yes. Yes, tell me. I'm listening. Okay. Clock. Clock, yes. It's Pictures. Important. Pictures of your family. Text. Mirror. Mirror, yes. What else? Lamps. 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 Okay. Curtains. Curtains, yes, necessary. Okay. Yes. Remember to work on the platform to do the exercises. Okay, because tomorrow they are going to check 
okay, they are going to check your advance on the platform. Okay, let's see, Ana Beatriz. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Carlos Ricardo. Present. Cecia Beatriz. Darling. Present. Carla Susena. Present. Luis Edenilson. Nancy Soledad, Nora Loiza, Pamela Noemí, Raquel Abigail, Richard, Present, Ronnie, Present. Roxana, Okay, so let's see you tomorrow. Be on time, try to be on time. Okay, that's it. And okay, Brenda. Okay, see you tomorrow. Get rest. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 See you later. Bye. See you. Bye.